This super brave teacher has flaws. This super brave teacher has a lot of flaws. Because you know what? I have lots of flaws, but I have no problem doing whatever it takes to get the word out that LGBTQ teachers and students are important and we need our voice and our choice and our visibility made known in a radically positive and accepting way for all. We need to make it better today. We need to make it better today. Today, today, today. I'm putting my shirt back on, but please like, share, click, do what you do because all of us with our flaws are beautiful. Back to the video. Thank you. For all of you who get in a tiffy, in a tizzy, who, whatever the word is, for all of you who get all worked up when I'm wearing a tank top and now shirtless, it's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. For today's video, I wanted to talk about something that inspired me after I just finished reading Hillary Clinton's new book, What Happened. Read it, read it, read it. If you love her, you'll love this book. If you don't love her, you will love this book because there's so much amazing content, content, content with context in it. So yes. She's my girl, she's my girl, she's a lot like me. Okay, well I guess I'm a lot like her. <laughs> she can't really be a lot like me, she doesn't know me. I'm a lot like her in the sense that I'm a lot better behind the scenes than in front of the scenes. Like, you might like this video, but you should just see me doing what I do with kids, loving kids and teaching. That is my joy, that is my element. It's not the easiest thing for me, like, hey, look at me, I'm a super great teacher. Like, it's fun doing this, don't get me wrong. You're appreciated. Thank you for watching this. But like this, like this gal, I love just getting to work. And I'm also very pragmatic. Like, tell me what to do and I'll do it. So even just like this channel, like, okay, I gotta get to at least 100 videos, I'm gonna do it. Cha-ching, 100,000 words for my book. Cha-ching, let's do this. What's the, the, the most pragmatic way that's gonna get the biggest reach? So let's figure it out. And she inspired me, but and I'm not giving anything away, so don't worry about me giving anything away. The thing that really blew me away was at the end when she talked about emeralds. Emeralds? Yes, towards the end of the book, Hillary Clinton is listening to this beautiful speech, and someone is saying how the people they're talking to are just like emeralds. And I'm going to read it, and it says, Like us, emeralds are valuable, rare, and pretty durable. You, valuable, rare, durable, oh yeah. But there's something else emeralds are known for. They're flaws. I know it's hard to admit, but we all have a lot of flaws. We are incomplete. We are scratched up in some places. We are jagged around the edges. <laughs> Flawed emeralds are sometimes even better than flawless ones because the flaws show authenticity and character. <laughs> we are incomplete, scratched up in some places, and jacked on the edge. <laughs> it's so beautiful. And it's beautiful because as a gay man, I basically, <laughs> since around first, second grade, when I started really just noticing that I was different, I guess kindergarten I noticed, I started to notice that I was different anyway. But like when I started noticing that I was different and that it wasn't an okay thing and that it wasn't okay to like boys and it wasn't okay to, to be who I was or to be too Joel or to anything like that. I always looked at me being gay and my sexual orientation as a flaw. A flaw that needed to be fixed or it needed to be covered up or it needed to be sanded down or whatever. And you're getting the analogy. I hope right away you're getting this analogy. Just like we take these beautiful emeralds and we're like, okay, we're gonna sand it down, we're gonna make it perfect until it shines. By the time you do, you're left with like, what? This little nothing that is, is perfect, but it's not the emerald. And the point I'm making is we all have these beautiful flaws and our flaws are what make us us. And I'm not just talking about worldly flaws like, oh, right now I have all these wrinkles and I should get fillers and I have wrinkles and like moles on my body from being in the sun too much or back fat or whatever stuff that 
we talk about it and it's considered a, like, I'm not talking about physical flaws even, or, or, oh no, sometimes I say too much or do too much or I'm too, like, I'm saying that us being us, regardless of what the world says, or what other people say about us, those are beautiful things. So all these things, especially the things that make us who we are, the things that make me me, like wearing a tank top or something bigger than a tank top. I don't know why I'm going to a tank top. That's what makes us us. And when I try to hide those things or cover those things or lie about those things, I was hiding the beauty of myself. So some, so yeah, there were a lot of good pictures in that time of me just like, yep, I'm, look at me, I'm straight, I'm okay, look at me. But you could really see it in my eyes, like something was going on. There were a lot of flaws, there was a lot of realness behind there, there were a lot of jagged edges that just wanted to get out and be seen. And part of coming out, and why it's so scary to come out, initially, is because you're showing to the world like, look, look at, look at all of me. Look at all of me, and you might consider some of this a flaw. You might consider me being a gay man a huge flaw and a failure, whatever word you want to use. But it is all of me. Take it or leave it. And some, some people are like, you know what, emeralds? Nope, I want diamonds. Nope, I want other precious gems and stones. Emeralds are beautiful because what makes them unique and valuable are the flaws. So, I don't know about you, but I am gonna think about emeralds this week and I'm gonna think about being like an emerald and having flaws and having jagged edges and all these beautiful things and say, guess what? That's what makes me me. I'm intense sometimes. I ask my husband, I'm intense sometimes. I have flaws. I do a lot of things that I'm just like, Joel, what are you doing, friend? But that's what makes me me. And yes, I can learn. And yes, I can be patient. And yes, I have lots of room for growth. I think they've missed that part about the emeralds. Like, emeralds, you have room for growth too, okay, emeralds? Just new slash emeralds, you got room for growth. But never, 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 never think that your flaws are bad, that you being you is a bad thing, or that you being you is flawed. You have flaws, you are not a flaw. You are beautiful. You are loved. You are enough. You are sufficient. Just being who you are with all your beautiful flaws. And I am the same way. I am beautiful. I am enough. I am sufficient. I am valued with all of my flaws. With all of my flaws. Just be me. So thank you, friends. Yeah, like this video. But like yourself. <laughs> I know that comes out really cheesy, but really do. Take it in. How beautiful you are. How, ugh. I can't say it enough. So I'm going to let you go. Take it in. I'm breathing it in with you, friends. Bye, flawed, beautiful people. Ciao.